All right, everybody, Rick Hummer, and of course, Josh, the new curator here at the, uh, well, it's the Potawatomi Zoo, but we're at the, what is this? Is this the feeding zone? Yeah, this is our zoo farm. It's our, we've lived, basically recreated a farm here at the zoo. It's so kids. awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I know my daughter, we came here for one of the winter days here recently, and the first place she's got to go is, I got to feed the goats, Dad. I got to feed the alpacas. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, so within the last year, we've we've really built, we've got goats now, we've got sheep, donkeys, cow, uh, alpacas, yeah. turkeys, chickens, all kinds. Basically, our own little mini farm. Yeah, you even got the owl. You got yeah, the barn owl. owl. I mean, yeah, we're we're yeah, all set. Yeah, so yeah. no mice. There are no mice yeah. at the zoo. It's funny because it's amazing with all the exotic animals we have here. This is one of the favorite areas of kids because oh, anytime you can touch an animal like this, oh, yeah, they love them like, hey, you're yeah. my buddy. <laughs> you're my best friend. Exactly. It's so cool though. But yeah, yeah how, many, how many goats do we have out here? So there's about 13 uh, goats over here, uh, these Nubians. And then we have a bunch of mini dwarfs. We have three uh, sheep, two donkeys, one cow, and eight alpaca, actually. Eight alpaca. Yeah. So yeah, the, yeah. And you said new ones too, right? Yeah, they're, they're new alpacas. New alpacas. Yeah. So we've got a lot of new animals we here. Have a lot, a lot of, of new baby animals. ones too. A lot of new babies. Um, um, we're going to be really like this right here, being able to hands on. That's that's a big thing here at the oh, zoo absolutely. that we're into. You that's know, my, like I said, it's my daughter's favorite yeah, thing. Well, one of our missions is we want to make connections with wildlife. So anytime you can touch an animal, so when you're, you're going to see in our ambassador animal program, lots of new animals that are going to be out and about in the zoo. You can you know get up close to, walk through Australia and get up close to the kangaroos. Yeah, it's, that's so how you're cool. going to make connections. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. Well, I love what's going on here, but let's uh, can we go around? And yeah, let's just, take let's a take a tour. Yeah, cool. definitely. Let's go. This is awesome. You're wanting to bite my hand. All right, so one of the I'm one of the cool things that we have now is all these new animals we're bringing in. Last year we brought in over 100 new animals, about 35 different species. Some uh, this is an animal. You're the, you're actually one of the first people to see these. These will be in That's the awesome. uh, we'll be in with the Ancoli cattle hey, this year. Yeah, uh, the ostriches. You know, it's weird. I played a video game when I was a kid called Joust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you actually rode one of these. <laughs> no, did you? Yeah, I've never been up close to one. I've been near an emu or something like that. Now, and believe it or not, these are actually babies. They'll get a lot. They'll get a lot bigger, bigger? than this. Yeah. Wow. They're not camera shy, are they? No, they're not. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we actually we have 13 flamingos. These are the Caribbean species here at the zoo. Cool. Um, we're you know we're getting ready. Now that it's spring, we're getting ready to get them out. You know, get their pools filled and stuff. Yep. And it's uh, you can see that they're loving the sun. Oh yeah. So they'll have a new new pump and everything out here for yeah, them. Yeah, their whole new pond and everything. You can see we actually got a new fence over here that you can actually see them without from the, both sides. Yeah, from both sides and um, really opened it up. This is awesome. <laughs> so this is Copper. Hi, Copper. And Copper's our African serval. So he's actually part of our ambassador animal program. So like the finnick foxes, um, you know, a lot of the armadillo, a lot of the animals, we'll be having this guy out and about in the zoo so visitors can get up close and see this guy. Does he play ever? He does, yeah. So what's cool about these guys, so they're one of the small, they're a small cat from Africa, but they can jump up to 10 feet in the air. And they can actually grab a bird straight out of the sky. Just, yeah. Yeah. And actually out of all cat living cats, they have the longest leg per body size of any cat. So yeah. They're a really pr pretty cool species. What kind of noises do they make? He does. He'll do like a little bit of a purr and everything. Um, he does a little kind of a cry too. He's like, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take him home. <laughs> I want to take him home. <laughs> now, what's he eat? What's so he, so here, I mean, in the wild, they would eat a lot of birds and rodents. Here at the zoo, we uh, we actually have a special carnivore diet that we feed to our tigers and leopards cool. and everything, and he gets part of that. He will get a mouse from now and time to time. But it's nice because it gives kids a good example of, you know, some of the, you can't get up close to the tiger, but you can, you know, you can get up close here and see a lot of the same adaptations and it's nice. How long has he been at this zoo? So he's new. He's actually, well, he's been here about six months. Okay. Yeah, but this will be the first season of the zoo that he's actually out and about with the public. So, gotcha. Because he's been here over winter. So this is Hunter. Hey Hunter. You can kind of hold Hunter there. He's got a holding tight because he might jump out of your hands. <laughs> so Hunter's a finnick fox. It's the world's uh, smallest species of fox. I got you. And like Copper the serval, he's actually one of our ambassador animals. So you know if you're at the zoo this year, you might be in the uh, you might be able to see him. Look at that face. Now I know why they cast you in Zootopia. You look like a little baby. Huh?
Yeah, so one of the big things we're going to do here at the zoo uh, this year is mixed exhibits. You know, it adds a lot of value to the exhibit from sure. an educational standpoint. So like this, for instance, is red rumped agoutis from South America in with the cotton top tamarins. Um, you know, it just, it's, they can utilize the ground, but it primates use the trees, and it's yeah. just, it really makes nice of the exhibit. You've never caught them riding the back I've of those never, and having no, races or anything? No, I haven't yeah. had any issues like that yet. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> yeah, because they're relatively new in here. Oh, yeah. So that what we have here is actually banded mongoose. Um, we have five, six, seven, eight of these. We had three new babies born. Yeah. Um, they're part of the SSP Species Survival Plan. I'm actually the coordinator for these guys. So as soon as I started here, it's like we're getting banded mongoose. <laughs> 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 but uh, people love these. I mean, they're so interactive. They're always moving around. So they'll come up to the kids at the window, and they're a lot of fun. This is awesome. Yeah. Now, where, now where are they native? Africa. Just Africa. Yeah. And they're, 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 I guess if you think about what are mongoose known for, is especially banded mongoose, is they can actually kill snakes. So they'll yes. find a big venomous snake and they'll actually shred them apart. Yeah. 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 So Josh, the Takan. The Takan, one of my favorites actually. So this is a very rare species in zoos. This is the Sichuan Takan from the high altitudes in yeah. Sichuan. I mean, they come from very, very cold climates. We're very excited because we have this brand new baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So these guys, I mean, generally they're up in the mountains like Himalayan or other ranges, correct? Yeah, they're, they're from a really, really cold region. And actually what's interesting is the night that she gave birth, it was about 25 degrees and there was about six inches of snow on the ground. We were all out here worried to death like something was going to happen. <laughs> the baby was just running around in the snow like nothing. Yeah. So it's, it's funny how they adapted to that kind of climate. Josh, first and foremost, Josh Siski, I mean, you've been yeah, so yeah. awesome to us today. <laughs> of course, man. You've been of so course, awesome of to course. us today. Uh, April 1st, the zoo opens, right? Zoo opens Pot April 1st. Yeah. Zoo. This is just a, a gem for the entire Michigan well, thank region. You. And thank you. We, we thank you for opening up the doors for us today. And absolutely. Show absolutely. us all the creatures Anytime. and the, the, Anytime. the yeah. beauty of this creation. So yep, yep. we just uh, thank you. And of course, April 1st, they come out. And of course, the family. Uh, passes are all available. Yeah, you get the membership here and come out, check out the new carousel, all the new exhibits, new it's animals. Here. It's going to be a good year. There you so. go. Thanks again. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. You're going to. I knew it. They were the label. Oh, yeah. See, I told you. The zoo, the zoo can be fun, and with all mm -hmm. these new animals and everything going on, it's a place that you definitely would want to take your kids. I definitely would. Another place that you may want to take your kids and yourself because, you know, we always want to go and continue growing as people and mm -hmm. becoming smarter. Right. One day university. Hmm. That's the place that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Just gonna make us smarter, more cool. intelligent. I need a slushie. Yeah.